Right, morning guys. Sorry, I'm just having a few little technical things going on this morning. Right, okay, let's get going. Morning everyone. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. I'm going to be playing with the Arrange a Wreath stamp set and dies today. So these are from the annual catalogue. And you've seen me, maybe you've seen me use them before. I'm just going to see if I can find them in the catalogue for you to show you. Let's have a look. Arrange a Wreath 127. So you'll find this product on page 127 of the annual catalogue. So we have this beautiful stamp set with lots of different images. You've got single images, such as this big wreath, beautiful sentiments that are really helpful for lots of different occasions. And then you've got these double images as well. Those are the designs that it's given us as a few examples. Um, so really, really useful stamp set. And then you have the arranger wreath dies, which mine have all moved around a little bit. So you have some lovely wreath shaped dies and you have some flowers and then you have some of the framelits that go round the images okay so i'm going to be using this set today i'm going to use it in three different ways i'm going to use it for a really simple straightforward card with just some stamping i'm going to use it step it up a little bit with a punch and then we'll go all out and we'll use the dies so i hope you're sitting nice and comfortably this suite here so if you buy it together as a bundle you save 10 percent well tomorrow is the 24 hour 10 percent sale so you'll save another 10 percent on the bundle and on the separate products as well so just bear that in mind if you've got this on your wish list tomorrow you can get it at a bit of a discount so here is the stamp set so we're going to start by doing a little bit of simple stamping and this stamp set is perfect for some simple stamping okay so we've got a large block here i'm just going to peel that off actually that's too small so let's get the bigger block which is here so we have the largest block so we'll just pop that on okay now i have here one of our note cards okay these note cards are really really useful and these come in a pack of 20, so they're a lovely size. They are five inches by three and a half inches, or in metric, they are nine centimeters by just under 13 centimeters. So a really lovely size. Um, and it's wisp they come in whisper white and they come in very vanilla. I'm just gonna burnish this edge here and grab a neck pad. Actually have not prepared anything in advance for this so let's hope it goes our way this morning so I've got a lovely old olive ink pad now because the ink pad is slightly bigger so because the ink pad is slightly smaller than our image I'm going to take the ink pad to the stamp usually I do it the other way around but because it's a large stamp isn't that beautiful we're going to take it the other way. Now I'm going to stamp this just ever so slightly off the card because it's not big enough. So lay your card out flat. Oh, before I do that, I need a stamping mat. Okay, so I have a stamping mat which is really useful for when you're using photopolymer stamp sets. So let's just pop that under my grid paper. And now we are ready to stamp. So let's just pop that on there like so and I just want to show you that this stamp set is actually perfect for not needing a lot of product because the images do it all for us so there is our lovely stamped wreath how clear and beautiful is that image I think it's stunning okay so the other thing we have in here we have some little flowers and we have some little dots and things. So I'm actually going to use the dots, which are here. Add that to a little block. I'm grabbing red ink pad. So let's use real red. 
real red is a lovely lovely Christmassy red so we'll leave our stamping mat underneath our grid paper and we're just going to stamp a few of these at random okay so they're quite subtle like so so you can just about see those okay and then we will add a little sentiment so this looks like a christmas card to me so we'll use merry christmas which is down here so I'm not doing any fussy cutting on this card, I'm just keeping it really, really simple. Okay, and we'll stamp this in red as well. Okay, so down here we'll just have Merry Christmas. So there we have a really simple but pretty Christmas card. Okay, so that's our first card that we're going to make this morning. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to step that up slightly with something a bit more. Okay, so we'll just put that one to one side. And let's get a, some red cardstock because we're still making Christmas cards. We're nearly there now. We're on the home stretch. Hands up if you've not even started making them yet. I'm sure you're not alone at all. So now I have here a piece of real red A4 cardstock and I'm going to show you how to cut how I cut my card bases. So this one we've used one of the small note cards and envelopes and this one I'm going to show you how to get two card bases out of one piece of A4. So we want a book fold card like this so it opens like so. So we are going to line it up in our trimmer so that the short edge is along the top and we're going to line it up at ten and a half centimetres and we're going to score. Okay. Then we'll turn and we'll line it up along our long edge at 14.9 centimetres and we're going to cut. So we now have two card bases from one piece of card. Okay. So we'll put one of those to one side and we'll use that later. So let's grab some whistle white cardstock now. We'll create a little layer. So if we fold this over like so, that is now our lovely cards. The measurement of this card front is ten and a half centimeters by fourteen point nine. So a traditional mat for me would be to just take that down by half a centimeter. So I'm going to put it in my car in my trimmer. So again, we've got the, long, the short edge at the top and we're going to line it up at 10 centimetres and cut. Okay, And then we're going to turn and we're going to take five cent, sorry, half a, half a centimetre off of that measurement. So it's lined up at 14.4 and we're going to cut. And there we have a lovely matte layer for our card. Okay, and the next one we're going to cut exactly the same and that is going to be our piece for inside. Okay. So now let's step this up ever so slightly. So we have, we're going to put our stamping pierce mat underneath again and we're going to stamp our wreath. So I'm stamping in Old Olive and I'm going to stamp this so that it's in the middle of the card. Okay. So just give that a nice firm press, try not to move it and lift it off. I'll just show you what that looks like. So it's lovely and crisp, really, really lovely. And now I'm going to bring in some ribbon. Let's give a little addition of ribbon. So here, this is from the Trimming the Town suite, which as you all know is my favourite. So it's real red and it's got a lovely gold sparkle on the edge. So let's now 
tie this around and we want enough to do a bow let's just pull that along until you've got what you think is enough so you want equal lengths this end a lot more fingers and thumbs this morning and we'll just tie a little bow over here anyone else think this is really painful watching me tie a bow here we go right so we've tied a bow almost let's just make sure that's a nice little bow like so and then we'll just trim off the ends okay what we're now going to do is we're now going to stick that onto our card so we'll bring back in our little card base and we will stick that down so I've got here a stamping seal plus which we have finally made friends it took me a while to get used to this new tape runner but now I'm used to it I'm a fan okay so let's turn that over make sure our card opens the right way and we can stick that on like so so it's starting to build now and then what we're going to do is we're going to stamp a couple of little flowers so we'll have a little flower image and we'll stamp those onto some scrap whisper white so let's do three and we'll stamp them in real red let's stick with the red and green shall we? one to light taps on your ink pad and just quick stamping okay so what we can now do is cut those out and this is just about thinking how you can step up your card making with not a lot of materials so so far we've just used the stamps what I'll do on the next one is I will use the dies. So I'm just cutting these round. So we've got one. Do let me know what you think so far or let me know if this is on your wish list or if you've already got it or if you just don't like it be honest it's quite nice that in the catalogue this isn't really marketed as a Christmas set but it will kind of cover lots of different seasons which is always a winner in my book And then the last one. I'm just going to turn my heater off, it's really hot in here. I'm going to make all of these as Christmas cards. Okay, so we've now got our little flowers, which we're just going to curl a bit slightly. So I'm taking my lid of my Tombow, putting it in my hand, and I'm just raising them slightly so you get a nice little curve on those flowers. It just adds a little bit more depth and reality to your cards. So then these, we can either kind of 
decorate them around or we can have them kind of all at one side what do you think I actually think I'm going to have them kind of around this bow what do you think or do we have them yeah let's have them there so I'm just going to take a little bit of Tombow little dot underneath I think I have a blockage there we have it we'll just have one all on one side Sophie says thank you very much we want it there yeah let's have it there okay and then the next thing we need is we need our sentiment so I'm going to go with Merry Christmas again let's just give that a bit of a tap to get rid of that ink and I have just a piece of scrap white here and I'm going to stamp this in old olive like so and then i'm going to grab a punch because punches are really really useful i'm going to use this one this one here so this is the timeless label punch i'm going to slide that in there like so so then we know we've got a lovely little banner and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to snip it off. Like so. And we can pop that just down there as a little... I'm not happy with this bow. I'm just going to re-tie it. Sometimes you're just not happy with things, are you? And this bow is, is that for me. It's too flat. That's better. Actually looks like a bow now. So we can either pop that in the middle. Actually, that's a better idea. Let's stamp that directly in the middle. So let's put Merry Christmas inside our sometimes you have to try things to realize it's not quite what you want okay so that is our next card up so we've got our simple stamping card we've got our stepped up card and now we're going to play with some wreaths okay so let's just grab some scrap cards So I've got some Sahara sand cardstock and the dies, which are here. Just have a little clean down. So and the lovely cards, and you like the off center one. I think I like the off center one as well. So we've got two dies. We have a large die, and we have well, they're two large dies. So you have this one, which is like lots of little flourishes. And then you have this one, which is leaves. So I'm going to cut this one from Sahara Sand cardstock. And this will just run straight through your die cutting machine. I have mine on a trolley so I can wheel it around my studio. So that's just behind me. So this just pops straight out, give it a little wiggle and it will come away, just be quite gentle with it because it is very delicate. Here we go. Ta-da, so there is our 
lovely flourish piece and then I'm going to cut the other one out of let's do a little bit of old olive cardstock shall we oh no let's do garden green garden green is quite a traditional green just raiding my scraps box behind me so let's lay this one on there like so and we'll wheel that through as well So this is the leaf wreath, that's really hard to say. So then the idea is we can layer them together like so. so let's pop that over there. So let's bring our piece of Whisper White back in. So we'll cut this slightly differently we're going to cut this down to nine and a half centimeters and we're going to cut this down to 13.9 okay. and we want a bit of Sahara sand so we'll create a bit of a double mat on the front of this one so then let's cut this down to 10 and 14.4. So we have two little layers to go on the outside and inside of our cart. So these will now layer up like so. And if I bring back in one of those card bases that we cut at the very beginning, you can now see how this is starting to change. Okay, so now I'm going to do something a bit different on this one. So I'm grabbing a Sahara sand ink pad and I'm going to show you something new, which is these. Okay, so these are brand new. These are available in the... January to June mini catalog which is available to demonstrators to pre-order on December the 1st and available to customers on January the 4th so these are the new blending brushes they come in a pack of three and I believe they're around 11 pounds but I will double check that so you can see they're not even been out of the packet and they are just fabulous they're so soft um, they're a great size and I'm looking forward to using these so I've only seen these demoed once but we're gonna give it a go so this could go really really wrong so I'm gonna use Sahara sand ink pad now I'm gonna dip it in my ink pad for example and then I'm just gonna slowly go around the edge of my card there we have so it's just picked up a bit of ink there and the idea being you just get a little bit more of a subtle look than if you were to use a sponge dauber I'm just distressing the edge of that card there was a slightly and because our ink pads are water based once you've finished with these you just run them under water and let them dry try not to use anything abrasive on them because you don't want to damage them but you can see that's just really really subtle okay so i think these are going to be a firm favorite in the new catalog They're actually really, really lovely to use. They're so smooth. The trick is to 
kind of get rid of any excess ink on your grid paper before you start using them. Okay, now I'm really, really pleased with that. I think that looks lovely. So I'm just going to go around a little bit more until I'm happy with what I've got. Let me know if what you think of these brushes. Are they something that you like the look of? They really are lovely to use. So I'm just going around it in really small circles just to bring in that little bit of distress edge so I told you this card would be would be a little bit more going on on this card and I think I've achieved that with our little background so now when we add that to our card you can actually see it a bit better on there I'm just going to check my measurement on that piece of Sahara sand yeah it's a little bit big that's better okay so now when you add it to your card you get a completely different look so this is where we've kept the whisper white really plain and this is where we've stepped it up a little bit with the addition of that brush so I'm just going to go around a little bit more here okay and you can actually see, so I've used quite a lot of that, but that isn't too grubby, but I will give that a rinse afterwards. Okay, so we've now got our lovely distressed looking card. And then we can start building our wreath. I'm just going to pop out these little pieces here. Now this is one of those sets, I think, that you could either buy the whole thing as a bundle and you've got all angles covered. You could buy the stamp set and you can create a lovely wreath like that. You could always layer up that wreath with a couple of different tones of the same colour. Or you can just buy the dies. Because either way, I think it's all lovely. Before we carry on, I'm just going to grab a little bit of a sample blend. So I've now got a dark grey granite blend, okay? And I'm just going to spritz a little bit of background on there. Because again, that just breaks up that white. And we're going for that sort of distressed looking card. So now you can either attach this wreath with a bit of wet glue. And I would do sort of little dots here and there. I wouldn't stick the whole thing down flat. Because I think the joy of this is to kind of just have it a bit more shaped. Okay. So like so. And it's up to you whether you put the green down first or you put the green down second. I actually prefer it with the, the leaf on top or you can use glue dots. So I'm going to use a little bit of Tombow and I'm just going to do really small dots kind of here and there. Like so. And then we can carefully just lay that down. Dog's barking. Wonder what spooked him. Oh, it's moved. Okay. Now this one, I'm going to do exactly the same. So just shape it a little bit. 
and then I'm going to add a bit of my dog's really bark. I actually don't think that's my dog barking. I'm just adding a little bit of glue kind of just around and then we can pop that down. Now, I'm going to follow the ring of that one underneath and kind of just lay it over the top. So it's starting to build now really nicely. Like so. It's very, very different to our first two cards. Now, I have in the die set this little fellow. So I've got this one and there's a little bow. So this bow here, I'm going to cut with some foil. Just going to see what foil I've got. So this is also available in the annual catalogue, not the annual catalogue, the mini catalogue. So this is red and green foil. I'm just going to take a piece of the red foil. And I want some red cardstock as well. There's a dog out there going absolutely bananas. So this die here, it's like a little poinsettia. Poinsettia? Poinsettia? let's just put one of those down I'm going to cut a couple of these and I'm going to cut a lovely shiny red bow okay so let's just do that again I'm just using my die cutting machine which is behind me on my trolley The little poinsettia. Is it poinsettia or poinsettia? I'm never quite sure. And then we have this lovely, lovely gold foil bow. Okay, so I'm just going to cut a couple more of these poinsettias. to give my cutting plate a bit of a clean because things are getting a bit stuck when I'm pulling them off the plates. Okay, so I now have three flowers like so. Now poinsettias in the middle are an orangey yellow colour aren't they so I am going to have a little punch this is a really old punch it's actually retired now but I can't bear to throw some things away so let's just cut a few little circles like so if you don't have a punch you could just cut a teeny tiny little scrap of cardstock I'm just going to grab a Mango Melody stamping blend. I'm just going to colour those circles so they can be layered under them. And actually, that's too big. So I'm just going to cut those down ever so slightly. I don't think there's a die for that under there. Although, what's that? I think that is the die. After all that, there's a die. So let's just cut that out. Yeah, 
let's do that okay it's amazing what you learn when you look at the what's actually in the set isn't it we're learning together today hi to the ladies that are joining it's lovely to have you with us we've made two cards so far today using the arrange a wreath bundle of products we started with a real simple card with just some stamping i'm just going to check that will go under there it's even that's still too big maybe i'm having a moment maybe i'm not let's just try this that's better okay but before we do that I actually think these these red flowers are too clean so I'm going to bring back in my blending brush and I'm using Sahara sand so these are new they're available to buy to demonstrators in December and they're available to customers from the 4th of January if you did want to get your hands on them before January and you're a customer and you just can't wait they'll be available to add to a starter kit from the 1st of December so not long at all next week so you can see that's just changed that ever so slightly and it's given them a bit of an an edge and just the more ink you have the more distressed they will obviously look so i'll show you what they compare against so just pull that up to the camera so you can see i think it just looks a little bit better with that distressed look this is a bit of a longer session for me on a monday but i wasn't live last night so I hope you'll forgive me. There we have, that's two. I just think they look a little bit more realistic like this. So I'm just going round in circles, adding that ink. And these really are lovely to use. They're really smooth. I definitely think these are going to be quite popular. Okay, so where's my little bit of... Here it is. Like so. I think I'm actually going to leave those plain. Yeah, I am. I don't like them with that yellow. But this is what I mean, it's, it's good to have a little play with things to see what we prefer. What we can do is we can put some gems inside. Okay, I'm just going to fold the, curl them ever so slightly. Like so, and I'm going to stick these on with a glue dot one just giving the leaves a little bit of a curl bit of shape I really like this card I think this is my favorite of the of the three I'm just giving the leaves a little bit of a push like so so they're also on the the edge now we have this little ribbon like 
so but let's start sticking this together I'm just going to use a little bit of wet glue I would be needing a new Tombow by the end of the day, I think. Luckily, there is one in the cupboard. Okay, so that's starting to really come together now. So this little bow that I have, let's just have a little play. Let's put some gems in there, though, before we do anything else. I'm going to grab some of the epoxy dots. Yeah. So these are frosted and clear epoxy dots. So you get two sheets. You get one sheet that are really shimmery and you get one that are frosted. Now these, if you take your stamping blend, you can colour and just change the look of them ever so slightly. So I'm going to do three of those. It. so we've just changed the way that they look it's a lovely little tip there okay so then we can pop those on that's better that's brought them to life I think okay so we have Three little flowers quite like that little addition and then we need to give it a sentiment don't we so I think I'm going to use let's use our paper pumpkin so in our paper pumpkin we have some lovely foil words so we have on that one love peace let's see what's used on this one joy should we use joy in the middle let's see what i think of that no i don't like that do we like peace yeah, I like peace. Peace is my favourite. So now all we're going to do is we're going to try and stick this down. I'm just using a little bit of Tombow. You can see my creative process now, can't you? And how I faff. I'm a big faffer. let me know what you think of that card if it's something that you like oh just put my head in the shot I think it just short saw my yeah I did enjoy seeing the top of my head um, sorry about that that's I'm just sticking this down so it's nice and set and then we can either add the little bow like so or we could just leave it completely bare or we could add some linen thread which is always a nice addition which is somewhere over here i think i like it just like that let's tie a little bow Catherine's put beautiful she loves the stamp bundle yeah I do think it is lovely to have as a bundle I don't think it needs anything on there so I'm going to leave that as it is 
And then the, all that's left for us to do is to add those middle two layers. Which I have one piece there. Where's my other piece of Sahara sand? What did I do with that? Here it is. So then this last piece, I'm just going to check the measurement on that. So we want this to be 14.4, yes, it was just slightly too big. Now if obviously we now add that inside the card, it looks a bit odd, doesn't it? Doesn't look right. So I'm going to do a little bit more with my blending brushes just going around the edge and I find this quite satisfying actually it's quite therapeutic quite calming These may become my next, my new favourite thing. This might have to feature in my January class. You can obviously use sponge daubers or normal sponges. I do love the smoothness of these, how nice they are to use. Like so, okay. And then we'll just do a little bit of spritz around the edge. this together I'm really looking forward to tidying my desk after this it's quite busy it was nice and clear before I started okay open that up that looks a lot better than just the white so there we have Let's add a little Merry Christmas saying inside in red and then I promise you I will be finished okay so I'll just bring those three cards back in for you so those that weren't here at the beginning can now see what we made so we started by using the arrange a wreath stamp set and we created a really simple simple stamping Christmas card with just stamps, ink and paper. I've used Old Olive and Real Red for that. This beautiful Merry Christmas sentiment. So that's a really straightforward Christmas card. We then stepped it up with a larger card, um, a Real Red card base. Oh, I haven't stuck that in, I will after. And I've added a little bit of ribbon, some um, fussy cut flowers, just to show you don't need the stamp set. You don't need the dies if you're really pleased if you're really happy with the stamping and then our next card we've thrown the kitchen sink at it so we have used the lovely new blending brushes to create a distressed edge to this card um, a bit of ink speckling with a blender pen we've used the wreath dies the wreath builder dies which we've cut from sahara sand and garden green we've then added these lovely poinsettia flowers that have been die cut and again I've just distressed them with the blender brush these beautiful epoxy drops that I've coloured with another stamping blend we've stolen this peace sign from the joy to the world paper pumpkin and then inside the card we've just finished it off with a bit more distressing so we have three cards three very different looks i'd love to know your favorite i'd love to know which sort of card is the type of card you would make 
um, any feedback is, is always always lovely do appreciate it remember that there is a 24 hour sale starting it starts at tonight about 11 o'clock until tomorrow night it's 10% off anything in the annual catalogue um, there are a few restrictions I'll post those later um, and this stamp set and dies are in that promotion as well um, I will be placing an order tomorrow evening if anyone wants anything added to that by all means let me know and that's it from me today I'm off to do a little bit of crafting for myself I'm child free all day which is very rare for me um, and I'll be live here again on Wednesday evening at half past eight um, I'd love you to join me thank you so much for spending a bit of time a bit of your Monday with me um, I really do appreciate you hopping on and that's it guys have a lovely Monday and I'll hopefully speak to you on Wednesday take care now bye for now